morning guys, welcome to Zaid's house. Today we've got an LG Solar Dome microwave. Um, as you can see, the microwave is on. Uh, it's heating perfectly, the timer's counting down, but the turntable has stopped working. So um, let's open it up and see how we can get it fixed. Okay, so the first thing I've done is I've uh, turned the microwave upside down. Please make sure that it's unplugged before you start doing any work. Now what we're trying to do is we're trying to get to this uh, turntable motor down here. There is a shortcut that you can do where um, you can take cutters and you can cut between each of these holes. And what that allows you to then do is to remove the square piece here. Once you remove the square piece, obviously because you've cut it, it's not going to stay in position again. So once you remove it, you can, you can turn it around. And so these long pieces then will um, fit into these open slots here and then this obviously goes onto the other side and you'll see there's a hole there for you already and you can basically put a put a screw in there then to secure this thing back in place um, i'm not going to do that today today we're gonna uh, remove the screws and, and take this um take this microwave apart so let's go So we just removed the screws from right around, uh, taken the bottom cover off, and as you can see, that gives us access to, um, to the turntable motor. So removing the motor is quite easy. There's a screw here, a screw on the opposite end. Just remove the two screws, and then just simply um, unplug it here. Okay, just remember, um, before you turn the microwave upside down, there's, there's this piece on the inside of the microwave that the table uh, fits onto that turns. This simply just pulls out. So pull this out first, and then um, you can pull the turntable motor out. So I managed to get a replacement part. Um, this was the original one that was in there. This is the replacement, but as you can see, it is, it is slightly different. This one's a lot thinner. Um, it's slightly more powerful, 4 watt instead of a 3 watt, and in the uh, rotations or revs per minute, 2.5 to 3 versus 5 or 6. I think it's, it's going to work, but there is one problem. Um, if I turn these around, you'll see that the shaft sizes are slightly different. So the original one, um, you'll see the shaft is thinner than the, than the new one. So the problem is that this, um, this doesn't fit, it fits nicely on, on the old one, as you can see, but it just doesn't fit on the new one. So what I'm going to try and do, because they don't have stock of this one, what I'm going to try and do is file the shaft here on this flat side, just file it a bit so that it's become small enough to fit in. So let's give that a go and see if we can get it to work. Okay, so I'm going to use a grinder. You don't have to use a grinder if you don't have one, obviously. Um, a file could work just as well. The grinder, I think, would be faster though. So, um, always wear safety goggles and gloves uh, to make sure you protect yourself. Okay, let's go. So we've uh, finished with the grinding, you can see it's a lot smaller, and now, and now it fits quite nicely. Okay, and if you look at the, the distance, I think it looks, looks more or less right. Okay, 
Okay, let's put the motor back in. Okay, and then we can just reconnect the power. Make sure that's in security. There we go. Well done. Okay, once we've turned the microwave in the right direction again, we can open it up. And put that back in. There we go. Okay, let's put the turntable back and we just want to make sure that it does actually turn. Remember we modified the shaft so if we didn't get the depth right, uh, it, it won't may not work. That looks that looks okay. Alright, let's see. Ah, oh, we have a winner. See, it's easy as that. Guys, if you found this video helpful, please like and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.